Yeah, I think it's the most exciting time in multiple myeloma biology and medicine right now. I've said repeatedly, it's a lot like it was 20 years ago when the immunomodulatory drugs and the proteasome inhibitors first uh, showed their efficacy. And then over the next couple of decades, we've understood how to use them better in combinations, monoclonal antibodies came along. And so this year's ASH is a lot like that. We have the new immune therapies, in particular the bispecific T-cell engagers and the CAR T-cells, uh, which actually are showing remarkable activity even in phase one or early phase two clinical trials. Deep responses, MRD negative responses in far advanced penta refractory multiple myeloma now, the excitement for me and for all of us is to determine how best to use these new immune therapies alone, but honestly, most importantly, in combination. We are uh, very blessed to have systems now in the laboratory and in animal models wherein we can inform combination treatments. ASH this year was really uh, showing the advantage of using an immunomodulatory drug, proteasome inhibitor, steroids, and monoclonal antibody in initial therapy for multiple myeloma, much deeper responses, MRD negativity rates that increase with time, and we know that MRD negativity confers benefit in terms of progression-free and overall survival. So where we are now in 2020 is we're utilizing quadruplet therapies initially in multiple myeloma, whether patients are transplant candidates or not. Ash showed that transplant is still a standard of care. Francesca Guy Gay from um, Italy showed beautifully in the Forte trial that a proteasome inhibitor, Kyprolis, lenalidomide, the immunomodulatory drug, dexamethasone, and uh, was still a standard of care um, and with transplant achieved very high MRD negative rates, progression-free and overall survival. In the future, I think what we will determine is we will start with these quadruplet therapies we will achieve high extent and frequency of response, MRD negativity, and then we will use the immune approaches like the bispecific T-cell engagers or CAR T-cells alone or in combination with other immune agents in order to restore in patients a memory immune response against their own myeloma. And when we achieve MRD negativity, and we have an immune response, then I think we will have a realistic curative potential in this disease.